everybody, welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host, Phoenix, and today I got Minho with me on this wonderful Saturday evening. It's evening, right? It's 6 p.m. evening? Probably. Yes. Yes, okay. First ever drunk, well, somewhat tipsy Wattpad Book Club reading. Maybe my reading ability will get improved during this. Who knows? It's anyone's guess at this <laughs> point. We'll see. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what... Exactly, am I reading? Because <laughs> the wheel was spun and it was your choice. And if I know you, it's something weird or cursed. It's, it's normal. It's normal? Alright. It's normal. Here you go. Okay. I'm sorry, does that say Tom and Jerry X Reader one shots? Yes. Oh god, maybe I was right to get out this cold packaging of chi chicken nuggets and fries. <laughs> <laughs> it's a normal one. Pretty normal. Thank God I'm drunk for this. You know, I was trying to find something else More that was like actually cursed. Like, I was trying to find like a, a Palpatine X Yoda reader or something. Like a or, like, Gordon uh, Ramsay X The Queen of England. <laughs> yeah, something book. like that. <laughs> and like there, there are like, or there's no one writing uh, like romance fanfics for Palpatine. I don't know why. He's such a handsome, charming man. Emperor Palpatine, are you? <laughs> yeah. No, if you looked up like, like Luke Skywalker, that that guy probably has a lot. No, no, Palpatine, Palpatine X, uh, Dooku. <laughs> what about Dark Maul? <laughs> no, he got cast aside. I mean, he did die in the same movie that he was introduced in, so I guess that makes sense. All right, time to copy that link. Have you watched the um, Star Wars: The Clone Wars, like the cartoon? I think I have, like the really polished 3D models. Ah. Uh -huh. I think I have. This is a uh, this is something. So how did you find this? <laughs> uh, I was thinking of every single cartoon that I could think of. What's up with you and animals? First you did Scooby Doo and then Kung Fu Panda and now this. It's not my fault most of the animals in them. <laughs> no, no, I think you're a furry minute. It's okay, okay if you me, are. Okay, let me look up actually, like, okay, I'm gonna look up a list of cartoons. So I'm gonna see wh how many of them actually have, like, animals in them. Does, an does, uh, does Teen Titans count? Because Beast Boy can turn to any animal. Yeah. Oh, no, he's a furry for sure. Okay, yeah, and then I guess may as well gumball. Oh, the, I mean, my Disney life is a teenage. logo is literally Mickey Mouse, which I mean, is an animal. <laughs> yeah. There's uh, my life as a teenage robot. Yeah. It's got robots in it. Exactly. That's not an animal. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, there's animals in there. Oh my god. Um... I'm trying to justify myself now. <laughs> Bolt, uh, Zootopia, uh, what Pets. About, what about Johnny Bravo? Uh, Hook, Tarzan. <laughs> Every one of them has an animal in some kind of way. All dogs go to heaven. No shit. Animations. No shit, those have dogs. They have dogs <laughs> in them. Well, that, no, that's what I'm saying, though. Yeah. I know, I guess an putting a personality on an animal is very marketable. Oh, Madagascar, how could I forget that? I, well, maybe I should have looked up something Madagascar reader or something. Oh my um, god, a Kowalski X reader. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. There probably is one, I will guarantee it. Alright, Private, or uh, what's the main dude? Skipper? Skipper, yeah, Skipper. Skipper, Rico, Kowalski, and Private, I think. You know what I found out? There's an episode of uh, the Penguins of Madagascar that came out that apparently it's confirmed that like apparently when they put all four penguins in there, three of them are male, one's female, and Skipper ended up being a female. That was not in my bingo card. It's a real episode. What? Yeah. Skipper is not a female. What? Is this canon? It's canon. It's it's a real episode of the Penguins of Madagascar. Have Have you heard his voice actor? That dude is a it's a man. That's a, a, that is a. It's a deep, it's a deep voice, voice female, man. I guess. I, I don't make the rules, ma'am. I, I, they literally like, 
the, the, not even they knew which, which one was the female, so they all did like a DNA test of like their spit, and they're like, oh, yep, all of us are male, and then it got the skipper, and then it only did like a, like a minus mean that it was a female. No, no, that's a false positive. A, I don't believe this. <laughs> it's a false positive. I don't stand for this. Anyway, this is a Tom and Jerry X reader. <laughs> yes. So, a, a, a one-shot book where you can request X reader imagination of Im, uh, of your favorite Tom and Jerry characters. Requests are open. What did you do, bro? Why was this recent? This was from two years ago. Yeah, that must mean the writing quality is good. No! <laughs> Wait, there's rules in introduction. Hi, can, hi. here you can request X-Reader one-shots and imaginations for Tom and Jerry characters. I will not write smut, anything dark, or OCs, but there are no limits on how many stories you want to request. I might even be able to date dating headcanons as well. If you want an example of my writing, see my other one shots. I can't think of anything else other than that, so have fun. All right, Minho, where are we starting at? Where, where do you want to start? Doesn't it just go in order? No, I mean, like, you can pick which characters. We'll just, we'll just read from the, the beginning, then. Oh, God, we're starting off with Tom. Great. What a beautiful picture. <laughs> Ow. I, I think that's what he says. Okay. <laughs> you know the thumb screen? Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you want to be Hazard Tails to read first? Um, since he's a cat, I'll go Tails. Okay. <laughs> it's Hazard. Fuck! <laughs> Took a nice step. I, I'm going to be sipping out a Twisted Tea peach flavor this entire time. Okay. Yep. Okay, that's good. All right, this is my first request and is requested by Little Orin Moneth. Thanks for requesting. Hope you like it. Oh, <laughs> are we a cat? Also, I forgot. Aren't I? In my last book club reading, I made my name Numblet. What's gonna be Wyan's name? Oh, it's like. Oh, wait. Okay. Well, hold on. Tom and Jerry X reader. That means, like, it's the love triangle or something? I have, what, what's going on here? We're going to be dating each character in okay, these, okay. In these yeah. one shots. Um, so what's going to be our character? I'm, I'm assuming that we're an animal as well, because it's going to be really weird as fuck if we were human. Okay, <laughs> let's, have a, let's have an animal name done. Uh, a cartoon animal name. Stella. <laughs> cartoon animals. Animal. Cartoon animal names. Sponge. Courage, Bolt, um, Clifford. Uh, Clifford's good. Clifford's uh, good. Snoopy. <laughs> uh, why, why is there Simba? <laughs> Scooby? Scooby Doo. We could do Scooby Doo. Hmm, trying to think what would make sense. Brian Griffin? <laughs> Uh, that would uh, be kind of funny. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know, we can do mm -hmm. Kiki. Kiki? Yeah. What is that? Who is that? What, the animal? Yeah. Oh, it's from Hasmin Hotel, it's a little cat. Oh. It's like, oh, it's an Animal Crossing yeah. thing? No, it has been hotel. Oh. I just looked it they're up probably... and it was like an Animal Crossing. Yeah, there probably is an Animal Crossing cat called Kiki. <laughs> oh, let's do Scooby-Doo. Okay, Scooby-Doo it is. Scooby-Doo. Scooby Doo. Let me get rid of... There we go. Alright, let me... Let me fucking read this shit. I get some Tom and Jerry music in the background while I read. Yeah. <laughs> what does Tom and Jerry music even sound like? Is it just like instrumental of just like random instruments? Probably. Oh, Thomas. Tom. 
Tom heard his owner say in a sing-song voice. He was currently curled up at the fireplace, taking a cat nap, huh, because he's a cat, and he was not, anyway. But decided uh-huh. to, <laughs> to open his eyes and take a peek outside anyway. I want you to meet the newest member of our household. This is Scooby-Doo. As a what a cat? Uh, Savannah? What the fuck's a Savannah yeah. cat? Cats have breeds? <laughs> of course cats have breeds. Hello? Oh, I know, like, I, like someone will look at a dog and be like, Oh, that's a Dalmatian, or that's a Golden Retriever. But, like, if I, like, someone asked me what kind of cat I had, I'm like, Oh, it's a, it's a black cat, and the one inside is a gray cat. I don't go into depth about it. It's just a, it's just cat. <laughs> so what the is it just an orange cat? Uh Yeah, it's just a cat from the savannah. All right. So we're like, we're Why don't. do we name ourselves Garfield? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're dumb. <laughs> He felt annoyance as he heard the mention of another cat coming into the house. What was wrong with him? Wasn't he enough? Alright, maybe he can't catch a single mouse, but wait, Savannah Cat? His eyes widened in horror as he looked at you, though you give him a friendly grin. Now you two make friends while I'm out. Oh great, now he's being alone with you. Hey, I'm Scooby-Doo, it's nice- Oh no, you have to read in the Scooby-Doo voice, sorry. I don't know how to be a Scooby-Doo. That's your- (laughs) Right, right, right. Yes, do that. Perfect. I don't <laughs> want to do a Scooby Doo voice. I'm sorry. You mastered it. <laughs> look, I look. At, I'm tipsy, but I'm not that drunk to be like doing random fucking shitty impression. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Scooby Doo. <laughs> you must be. T- <laughs> what the hell, that Kermit? Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> no, keep going, I'll like it. You, you, stretched, you stretched out a paw to him to shake, but turned white with fear and screeched. I don't know how to scream. <laughs> Just go... <laughs> you know, That's the ah! classic Tom, Tom scream. From that Tom is? Jerry. You gotta do it. I, don't, I, don't ah! I just don't want to scream one. across the house. <laughs> <laughs> you can control your volume. I can't. It's ADHD. I can't do that. <laughs> Just go, wait, I can do this, just... Ah! <laughs> there we go. That's as close as I'm gonna get to. It cut out. <laughs> Good. <laughs> he screamed and jumped onto the ceiling. Down? You stared at him at his, sh- at his shaking form in confusion as he stunk his paws into his ceiling. Well, okay. You, sh- you shrugged. I'm about to find a snack. A scoopy snack. <laughs> He watched in horror as he thought that you mentioned of eating him. The thought of it. A wild cat in the house. Are, is Savannah cats wild at creatures? Uh, I think. I Yeah, maybe. So like this owner just brought in a bobcat she found outside and was like, Oh, what a cute little guy! Yeah. He tried his best to stay clear of you, but you kept jump scaring him even though you don't mean to. You were a little hurt that he had avoiding you like this, but you just carried on. Jerry began to notice of Tom's fear around you. Jerry didn't care. He just—he was sure he could outsmart anyone, but he found the way Tom was acting around you hilarious. It burst into a fit of giggles, thinking, thinking him as a real scaredy cat. Tom noticed immediately got offended and went off to chase the mouse. Jerry ran back into his mouse hole, and Tom put his paw in the hole in the wall to try to get him out, not paying attention to what was going on behind him. Um, excuse me. You slowly approached him and put a paw out on his shoulder. He turned around and was about to scream again, but you put your paw over his mouth and gently spoke. Tom, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not a wild animal. I'm just a cat. Just like you. (laughs) (laughs) Kermit x Tom the cat. (laughs) Kermit reader. You smiled at him and though he was scared, he, he looked like he understood. I didn't know. I didn't know Tom could speak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, he said cautiously as you put your paw down, warming up, warming up to you. Gosh, I feel silly now. He blushed in embarrassment. I bet you do. You giggled and ruffled his hair. Come on, let's go find something to eat. You smiled. You both found a huge fish in the fridge, though you, which you both shared, and you got to know each other well. And as you talked together. 
though he, you thought he was silly, funny, and really cute, and thought that you were really, and he thought you were really smart and pretty. You listened intently as he told you about Jerry, Spike, and everyone else. It was obvious you both liked what we do. <laughs> it's been it a day. It was love at first sight. It was. It's been an hour. <laughs> Man, this is this is a I I get they call it a one shot, but holy shit, we are just shooting our shot. <laughs> uh, um, oh yeah, we talked to each other. Uh, I forgot already where I was at. Oh yeah, it was obvious you both liked each other, but you both talked slow and couldn't stop looking at each other, and you were getting closer and closer with each word. I didn't know Jerry could speak either. This is this is this is a lot of lore to jump on me. <laughs> now now speak in a mouse voice. What does a mouse sound like? <laughs> I don't know, like squeak. Here, I'll do my high pitched mini Phoenix voice of just being like, No kiss <laughs> Yes. Yeah, cry Jerry and banged your heads together in a pet What? <laughs> I feel like I'm bug eyed right now. <laughs> and you're getting a passionate <laughs> kiss. Why you? Tom shouted and waved his fists, but then blushed and he looked at you as you did the same. How about we do that again for real? No, I don't like it. <laughs> you offered and batted your eyelashes. No, it's been two minutes. <laughs> I like that. He smiled and you both kissed, but this time for reals. Yeah. The end. Uh, yeah, that's the last time we... Toodle I forgot about Toodles! Oh yeah, that's a character. Yeah, is she a mouse or is she a cat? Um... That's a mouse. Okay, that is a mouse. There's no way that's a cat. <laughs> is it a cat? No, there's no way that's a cat. Okay. Well, I see, like, next to her is, like, a, like the ear of Tom, so I didn't know if, like, it was just some weird fucking cat, you know? I don't right. think so. Hold on. No, I'm not no. here. I mean, I, I haven't watched Tom and Jerry in, like, forever. She's a white female cat. That ain't what? no cat. That's a cross between a cat and a mouse. <laughs> she looks too small. Exactly. No, it's the ears. The ears are like that. Or maybe it's just the picture making her look small, but I thought it was a mouse. She looks like the same size as Tom, but like it, it's the ears. Like they look like mouse ears. She looks like she's one eighth the size of the chair. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, it's your turn. Toodles one. Requested by Cutie Dander. Uh, today was a great day for Toodles. She had just finished filming on her newest movie and was glad to finally rest and take it easy now. Being a Hollywood star was glamorous, but wasn't always easy, as she didn't have much spare time recently for other things. She was grateful, however, that her dreams of becoming an actress had finally come true. But she couldn't stop thinking about her best friend, the person who helped her get here, a certain Scooby-Doo. Oh, uh, wait, what's L-N? Last name, so just Scooby-Doo. Oh, okay. <laughs> a certain Scooby-Doo. She kept thinking about the way you encouraged and inspired her to pursue a career in acting and felt bad because you haven't talked in a while. It wasn't her fault. All her free time was taken up with filming interviews and award ceremonies. But now she was free and desperately wanted to see you again. Oh my god, Toodles wants to see me? Holy shit. Yes. What an honor. No, she wants to see Scooby, not you. Damn it. She didn't know that you felt the same way about her, and just how glad you were when you got a phone call from her asking you to meet her at a restaurant. You were excited, but the only issue was that it was in Hollywood, where she now resided. But you were determined to see her, and so you made the trip. You were starstruck as you drove through Hollywood. Knowing there were so many stars here, you felt like the song Party in the <laughs> USA. <laughs> What a callback. What a yeah, what a reference. You found the address for the place she was talking about, and you saw your beautiful friend waiting for you. She looked amazing in her new hat, blouse, and skirt, high heels, and light makeup. She looked every bit the Hollywood starlet. Toodles, you greeted her with a hug, which she happily returned. 
Oh gosh, it's been so long since I last saw you. How are you? You smiled affectionately. Living the dream. Every day's a party, but the reason I called was because I wanted to know how you are. I'm sorry I haven't spoken to you in so long, but life's been crazy recently. She rested her elbow on the table and pressed her weary head on her palm. So, how have you been, hon? You both chatted merrily, like old friends again. Uh, and she ordered something for you both to eat. You both got fancy and expensive tiny little meals, which you both ate and she paid for. Thanks, she paid for your meal, Scooby-Doo. Damn, I wish someone would pay for my meals. You were really glad to be able to talk with her and see her again, and you were happy that she still loved you and never forgot you, even with her success. Wow, that was great. You smiled as you both left to go your separate ways. I wish it didn't have to end. You know, it doesn't have to, she grinned. What? Oh. oh. How? You asked, confused. I guess I could get you a seat at the premiere of my new movie tonight. You would? Your heart was racing when she said this. You were ecstatic. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't mention it. You approached and printed a lipstick-stained kiss on your cheek before leaving like a true female... Fatale? Fatale? What is that word? Leaving you lovestruck. It was beautiful. I wish Toodles was real. Why am I gonna read for this one? <laughs> I don't want to read for Dripple. <laughs> <laughs> Dripple. Hold on. Who the fuck is Dutch the cat? Is this guy? I, you know what? It really shows that I've not watched Tom and Jerry in a long time. That I'm like, I have not either. Yeah. Oh, I'm a little sad. They only did like, like a couple of few characters, and then they just went to like just switch between Tom and Jerry, and that's all. We never get a part two to Toodles. <laughs> Dang. And it makes me upset. All right, fine. I'll read Dribble. This. <laughs> it's a, look at him. <laughs> Why did it look like that? Why can't we get? Right, like, stop roasting him. Why can't we get the big bulldog that would sit outside? <laughs> A spike? Yeah, why couldn't we get Spike? He's probably in here somewhere. No, I wish he's not. We're gonna Dutch the cat, but, but not Dripple. <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. I'm not gonna enjoy it though. Alright, class, you new teachers started with a smile as you stood there at your first day of a first day of school. Oh I I moved the PC and I got scared. <laughs> I accidentally moved it with my foot and I was like, oh fuck, did I just fuck up this entire thing? Anyway. <laughs> this is our new student that'll be joining us. This is Scooby-Doo. Now, you all... You should all try and make Scooby-Doo feel comfortable on her first day. I didn't know Scooby-Doo was a girl. That's pretty cool. You smiled at yeah, her. Yeah, she, she had transitioned. <laughs> yeah, thanks Scooby-Doo. You're the real transgender icon we needed in this world. Do you think if humans transgender from genders... Uh, animals transgender to different, like, uh, <laughs> races. Like, he can be a cat now, scooby doo cat. I think it's still, like, just gender. You know, sponges can do that. They could just be any gender. Because they don't need anyone Sponge. to repopulate, so they, they actually produce asexually. Huh. Yeah, it's real. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I Fun mean, fact. we just established that Skipper is a girl, so... He's, he's not. F you. I will find the clip, and I will send it to you. And then and you... I will delete it, and I'm gonna <laughs> sue... Uh, Nickelodeon? Pixar. Nickelodeon. Pixar. I don't... I'll sue anyone. Nickelodeon, DreamWorks, <laughs> <I'll sue them laughs> Disney. <laughs> I'll sue the writer that thought of this. Yeah. I'll, I'll find them <laughs> for me. <laughs> you smiled at her, but didn't realize one other student took her words as a personal challenge. I'm gonna assume that this man talks like this real quick, of just like, Here, come sit by me, you heard a low monotone voice say. You look in front of you, and you are met with a dog's 
charming smile as he beckoned you to sit on the desk next to him. Oh, okay, you said shyly and blushed as you sat next to him. I'm I'm Dribble. Pleased to meet you, miss. He, st <laughs> he stuck his hand in... Ew, brother, ew. <laughs> wow, charming. How charismatic. Bro, we just met. No. <laughs> and kissed it as you stood there, astonished. It's nice to meet you, Dribble. I'm Scooby-Doo. You, <laughs> you giggled. Oh, uh, but I already know. Uh, it's pleased to meet you. I'll be hoping to see more of you if I'm lucky. Ooh. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I need more alcohol. <laughs> what do you mean? Mm. Are I you think... roasting my boy Dribble? Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> what is there not to roast? Don't judge the book by its cover. I'm judging. The book cover is being judged right now. How could one kid be such a charmer? You were... <laughs> <laughs> You're melting into your seas. You sat there, cool as ever. I wouldn't call that cool, but I, g I guess. I bet you know my dad, he whispered, and you were trying to concentrate on lessons. No, you said, trying your best to brush him off. He's droopy. Who the fuck is droopy? Look it up. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> as I continue reading, you sat there, frozen in your seat. Droopy? D droopy? This is droopy's oh. kid? Yeah. Who's Droopy? I'll send it a picture. Okay. Now I gotta look. Hold on. My phone wants to cooperate. It's not cooperating. I almost burped into the mic, but I resisted. Ooh, is that guy? He looks just like guy. his father. <laughs> exactly. Takes after him. Yeah. You're not serious, you asked. No, but I am, he said with a wink, making you blo- Ew. Stop that chattering now, your teacher scolded you both. Unless it's something you care to share with the rest of the class? No, no, miss, you shook your head as she continued talking. You just wanted to get your lessons done without the- I wouldn't describe him as that, but without the cutie bothering you again. But alas, he did, slipping you a sheet of paper. My number, call me. He- <laughs> He grinned before returning to his usual bored expression, making you blush. Though you were secretly fangirling. Is Droopy a big deal in this universe? <laughs> Everyone is Droopy's fan. I don't want to be Droopy's fan. I'd rather not be. <laughs> Alright, at least you get to read for Dutch the Cat. <laughs> I'm just reading the comments. <laughs> oh god, where are the comments on, on that Droopy thing? You can't be roasting someone's favorite character. They just requested Dribble. But I can. <laughs> Look at him. There's something wrong with him. <laughs> you're, you're just basing him off his looks. That's it. Yeah. Though that's the first thing you identify with someone is how they look. All right. And that motherfucker look ugly. All right. Okay. Dang. All right. Butch the cat. Requested by Tootie Dander. Oh, that's the same person. Yeah. Butch's POV. Oh, great. Just great. After yet another fight over Tootles, Tom beats me to her. Why does that girl I have... Why, why does that girl have to play around like that? Why can't she just pick one of us? Correction. Why can't she just pick me? <laughs> <laughs> why do I have to be Mr. Lonely? Oh, well. It's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. At least I got a home to go back to. It was a dark night as I made my way back to the alley. Hopefully, my bin would still be there. As I got closer, I heard a sound coming from a corner. It was a sad sound, like someone crying. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. A dame <laughs> crying. I made my way over to the park where I spotted the girl in question. And boy, what a girl. It was a young... What is FC? Uh, favorite color? Uh, it uh. was a young black female cat sitting there on the bench, sobbing miserably. I have to admit, that really tugged at my heartstrings and so slowly approached her. 
She noticed me and looked a little startled at first, but just wiped her eyes and sighed. Something the matter, doll? He asked and gently sat himself next to you. Well, obviously, you answered. My stupid boyfriend was supposed to take me out tonight, but he stood me up. He sobbed and blew your nose. Well, what's a nice girl like you doing worrying about a jerk like that? Why just let me at him? <laughs> it's so old-fashioned. I'll have at him. Yeah. He said with a flattering amount of fury in his voice. Well, yeah, I guess so. You looked at the tomcat, taken aback by him. You both spoke with each other for a while before he realized he never introduced himself. I'm Butch. And you are? I'm Scooby-Doo. It's nice to meet you, Butch. He smiled, calming down a bit as he spoke with them. Ah, Scooby-Doo, he sighed. Say, Scooby-Doo, <laughs> I know some bins behind the restaurant that throws out some real good leftovers if you still want to go out. <laughs> it's like taking your girl out from McDonald's. Or yeah. <laughs> yeah, get her all I dressed up to take, go to the drive-thru at McDonald's. <laughs> we, can get out, we can get some stuff on the dollar menu. Yeah, that's when you pulled the app and use... <coughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, so when you pull out the app from McDonald's, you're like, Hey, can I get the, the $10 special of two hamburgers, two fries, and a 10-piece and a chicken nugget? And you guys just split that. And you that. pull out three coupons while you're at it. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I would love that. You're a sweet guy, Butch. He smiled and took his paw on yours as it looked like you were going out tonight after all. Yeah. That was wholesome. That was wholesome, right? Yeah, that's what a slow burner is supposed to be. I would like to read more Butch, but that ain't gonna happen. Now we have to read about a mouse. <laughs> Alright, hold on, I want to read the comments. Uh, oh yeah, there's like 22 comments. What what are they? Oh my god. Oh, uh, oh, they're arguing. Alright, let me read this. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 I need to read this too. Like, that's so dumb, she's freaking cheating. What are the more replies? But I love your work, especially Tom, thanks. No, not really, she didn't want her old boyfriend anymore though. Oh, can I write a quiz or something? <laughs> Wait, what? Her boyfriend was a piece of shit, I'd probably do it too. <laughs> Is that technically cheating? If he stood her up? I have no idea. I'm not the one to ask. I don't know the rules. You know the rules and so do I. Except we, they know the rules and we do not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, it's a Jerry one, finally. Finally. Some good fucking food around here. Alright, a different person finally requested. You know, I did have a co-worker named Russell, so maybe this is them. Requesting a Jerry yeah. extra <laughs> That's it. That's the guy! Oh shit. I had to read it. <laughs> I was <laughs> gonna say, like, did she forget already? Yeah, I did. Sorry, the alcohol is really hitting me. No, I was. Good. Not really. Good. I'm really into this piece of the. <laughs> you threw your hands in the air and cheered. You had just escaped from the local laboratory. We did. And just wanted to celebrate. Actually, that does make sense. Scooby Doo can canonically talk, so maybe he is a lab experiment gone wrong. Oh shoot. Scooby Door Scooby Doo Lord. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I want to I'm gonna look up why can Scooby Doo talk. Wasn't <laughs> it was a like lab a, experiment. Wasn't it like uh confirmed that he's like an alien or something? Or I don't know. Yeah, why can Scooby Doo talk? What's wrong with him? Okay, we have two choices here. Okay. One is from TikTok from six days ago, and one is an AI overview. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, TikTok. The explanation behind Scooby Doo's ability to talk. Scooby Doo can talk because he is a descendant of Anuaki, a race of beings from another dimension. I they took over right. animal bodies thousands of years ago. He is an alien. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the other one? Now, the AI overview is. He has a speech disorder that involves substituting and adding sounds to words. Nah, which he's is an different alien. from a phonotic disorder <laughs> from that causes phys physical difficulty speaking. His speech disorder is called rota cessation. 
I love it. Interesting. <laughs> no, no, he's an alien. Yeah, he's screwed an AI. Alien. He's yeah. an alien. I yeah. like the source from six days ago, and that's where I hear Yeah. <laughs> hey, is relevant uh, news research thing. <laughs> exactly. You wanted to celebrate as you got out before anything could happen to you, but first you needed to find a place to stay. You looked in awe of your surroundings because you never seen the big city before, and it was beautiful. You were busy taking it all in when you suddenly ran when something ran past you. It was a brown mouse, and you were watching him as he was, and then caught sight of a cat that was running. He was running from. I think the alcohol is affecting my reading. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. thought it would improve it? No. No, it's actually the same. I still can't read. <laughs> oh no, you thought to yourself in terror as you joined him in running off in hope of escaping for the feline. You saw the other mouse turn into an alley and you quickly followed suit. The cat kept on running as he thought he was still chasing the two of you and sighed in relief as you had given him the slip. You were standing there with the mouse, trying to catch your breath. He took a quick glance at you, his eyes widened in horror. Something wrong? Y you're a lab rat, aren't you? He he asked in terror, slowly backing away from you. For what's those, uh, like the Animaniac little mouses? Or like one of those. What? Pinky in the Brain? Eh? You do not know what Pinky in the Brain is? Uh, I'm so no. I'm disappointed. Oh, I've seen this before, but I don't haven't like watched a show. Okay. That's what I'm thinking of. We're just like, I'm, we're Pinky. <laughs> For that <Yeah>. guy. <laughs> but just named Scooby-Doo, and just happens to be Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I am, was before I escaped. Thankfully, before they could do any experiments on me, you frowned at the thought. They haven't given you anything? He was tempted to ease up a bit. Nope. Phew, Sorry. It was just that the last white mouse I entered exploded. Ooh. Oh yeah, that did happen, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Do we know Tom and Jerry lore? <laughs> I, uh... They're yeah. just exploding all the time, so... Yep. You looked in shock at the thought, Oh, that's horrible. Scientist, am I right? You said it best. Oh, excuse me for not introducing myself before. I'm Jerry. He smiled charmingly as he put his paw out. Do, do, do mouses have paws? <laughs> yeah. Okay. As he put his paw out for you to shake. Please meet you, Jerry. I'm Scooby-Doo. I just escaped from the local laboratory where I was born. Born there? Have you never been outside before? He asked in amazement. Nope. You shook your head. I've never even seen the city until now. It's so beautiful. You rested your face on your hand and your eyes sparkled. I pity you then. The city's great, except for the cats. Yeah, I'm gonna have to steer clear of them, you said, remembering your encounter with the tomcat. Oh, that's his name! That's his name! <laughs> About 20 minutes previously. But I would love to see more of the city. Would you like me to, you know, show you around? He offered a, a, kind, a friendly smile. You liked him, and that made your answer obvious. Sure. And so he took you by the paw as he showed you around town. The city lights were so beautiful. You had so much fun together and even showed you somewhere where you can get something to eat. It's just like behind like uh, like an Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> <laughs> just like the bits of asparagus, some steak, potatoes. Yes. It's beautiful. <laughs> Wow, Jerry, tonight's been amazing. You smile at your new friend as you both looked at the view of the wonderful night. But I had to go find somewhere to stay That now that I'm not living as a, in that lab anymore. He quickly thought it over. You can stay with me, he offered kindly. Stay with you? Where do you live? You asked. In a house not too far from here. It's great. I live in a hole in a wall and I just had it renovated for my... For what my... For my nephew, for when he's- I forgot he had a nephew. It's a little gray mouse. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. It's spacious, warm, it's well- uh, There's a well-stocked fridge. The only downside, though, is Tom. What do you say? Yes, hopefully. Who's Tom? You asked in confusion. Oh, he's that Tomcat that was chasing us earlier. He's no threat. He got it over from it before accepting his generous offer. Well, okay, I really don't know how to thank you. I don't- I don't like where this is going. <laughs> Oh, there's really no need. You threw. Oh no. 
Scooby Doo, no, stop. <laughs> He threw your arms around him and cut him off with a kiss before pulling away, leaving him a big blushing mess. <laughs> but I guess I ought to cover it, he said as he audibly wiped his little face as he as you giggled and left with your new friend. What kind of <laughs> friends kiss each other? I'm just asking a friend. <laughs> just ask, yeah, asking for a friend. Do, do friends kiss each other? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, you don't kiss your homies goodnight. I do. What homies are you kissing goodnight to, Minnow? <laughs> All the homies. All of them. <laughs> Alright, Jerry 2. Is this the... The sequel. Is this a continuation, or...? It's the squeakle. <laughs> oh my god. Is this actually, or is this a different I have no person? idea. Uh, this is T... Okay, it's a different one. Yeah, but it might be a continuation. Who knows? Maybe. Alright. <clears throat> Jerry, too. You smiled and unpacked your bags. Oh, yeah, it's a continuation. <laughs> <laughs> you were staying with your aunt two shoes for the weekend, and you were excited because that meant you were going to get to see your favorite cat again. Sure, she said he was a useless pussycat who couldn't even catch one little mouse, but he was still your favorite little companion. You had always loved coming here to stay, and you were excited at first, but you had settled in and were comfortable now. Well, Scooby-Doo, she started as she put on her coat and grabbed her bag. I'm gonna head out and get some shopping done. So you don't let that bad pussycat inside, you got it? I hear you, you nodded in agreement and flicked through the radio stations. Good. Well, see... Uh, we'll see and behave while I'm gone. <laughs> There's a missing apostrophe, I was like, buffering. Bye, and with that, she was out. He jumped off the seat and ran and opened the window and pulled a sleeping, unaware Tom inside. He was shook and startled until until he saw it was you. It was you! <laughs> Thomas! Was you. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas! You cried and hugged him. You knew you were disobeying your aunt, but you couldn't pass up an opportunity to see your favorite friend. He looked surprised, but then happy and cuddled back but said nothing as he couldn't, because he's a cat. <laughs> it's very logical, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that actually makes sense. You're Scooby-Doo, you usually can't talk, but you're a dog that can talk, so you can talk, but cat, or Tom can't speak. So but we're dating a mouse, that's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it makes sense. So, Tom, still never caught that mouse yet? He chuckled, and he turned away and huffed when you said this. Aw, oh, come on. Don't be like that. Hey, where's the little fella anyway? Tom led you to the hole in the wall where the little rodent resided and knocked gently on the wall. After a couple of seconds, the mouse appeared and caught sight of Tom. He turned to run, but you stopped him. Hey, where are you going? You asked softly. Once he saw that you weren't going to hurt him, he approached you slowly and he soon learned he could trust you. And you also befriended him. Tom was less than pleased, though, but soon learned to accept your friendship and even was even friendly to the mouse for your sake. He you soon fixed them and yourself some snacks out the fridge, and you all jumped on the couch and relaxed to the sounds of the radio together. Gooby doo, I'm home. <laughs> you heard your aunt say in a. Okay, I have to do it in a melodious voice. Gooby doo, I'm home. <laughs> You heard your aunt say in a melodious voice as the door opened. You gasped and quickly let Tom out again and shut the window, but not before saying goodbye. And your new friend Jerry rushed off as well as you scurried to clean up your mess. Well, didn't get into too much trouble, I hope, she said with a smile. No, aunt, you smiled sweetly, though you wondered what she would think if she only knew about your friendship with Tom and Jerry. It's just Tom next. It is... Ooh. <laughs> Requested by Kayla Wolf underscore official. Do you think it's officially? Yeah, it's the official Kayla Wolf. The Kayla Wolf. The only Kayla Wolf in existence. 
Who, who is Caleb? Actually, I have no I'm idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, that was like a... I'm looking this up. Caleb. Okay, yeah, we... no, it's not, it's not a thing. Oh, okay. it's an author of books. Oh my god, what kind of books did I read? Wait a minute. Please be Tom and Jerry related. <laughs> what is... Huh? What, what is, is it? I, I don't know, it's just... What? Okay, you can't be going like, what? What is this, huh? And like, not tell me what's going on. No, but like, I'm so confused what this is. Like... Just send me a screenshot. Uh, okay. Then you see how f f fucked up this is again. <laughs> Alright, let me... Oh! Oh, okay! <laughs> the Alpha's Forbidden Mate. Wait, the Alpha's Mail Order Bride? Excuse me? <laughs> That's I. That's why I couldn't form a sentence. I was like, "What am I looking at here?" The Alpha's betrayed mate. The Alpha's secret twins. The Alpha's arranged mate. What? <laughs> you good? You on them? I guess. I I can't say anything though, because I literally read a fan fiction called "Soul to a Gang Leader," so I I can't say anything bad right now. <laughs> oh, you can't. No, I'm forbidden to. <laughs> oh God, what do I gotta read for Tom, bro? It's so weird reading about, a, like, an ex-reader about a, a man that has the same name as my dad. <laughs> 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 just, I don't know. I just never thought I'd see myself here in, uh, like, now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it was just a normal day for the cat and mouse duo. Tom was chasing Jerry as they... Had already been beaten, burned, bruised, and blown up with dynamite. Yep, pretty normal. Upon remembering most accidents happened in the house, Tom decided to take his chase with Jerry outside, where hopefully he can catch the little rodent. They ran through the streets, past all the rows of other houses, until Tom caught sight of something that made him come to a screeching halt. He saw a female cat. The I guess it's Scooby Doo's cosplaying right now. It's <laughs> Sitting there in your garden and, s and and stopping in his tracks to admire you. He was lovestruck. He slicked back his hair and was about to make a move when then he remembered the mess that he was in from his scraps earlier that day. He couldn't approach you looking like this. He should get himself cleaned up first then. But before he could finish his train of thought, he heard a seductive voice yelling, Hiya, tots. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's the best I'm doing. I'm not doing a redo of that one. <laughs> no, you gotta you gotta redo it because you you said toots, not toots. <coughs> Hi, you toots. There you go. <laughs> I channeled my inner angel dust for that one. Hope everyone can appreciate that one. Tom gasped as he saw his rival Butch moving into his territory and lowering his chances to be with you. He watched in horror as, as he pulled out a bouquet of flowers and listened as he sweet-talked you, and there was nothing he could do about it. He sighed and walked off, kicking a can on the road and looking subdued as he walked home. Jerry noticed he wasn't being chased anymore as he tried to get Tom's attention again, but nothing was working as Tom headed home and then laid on his bed to curl up in a ball for a cat nap. Jerry was puzzled by this, and Spike never noticed, but when he did, even he seemed concerned. Say, what's the matter with you, bud? You're not as annoying as usual, asked Spike, but Tom would just brush him off, and Jerry shrugged as he hadn't the faintest idea either. Well, come on, what is it? Tom sighed. Well, there's this girl. <laughs> 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 I made it sound like that fucking cat in the hat where he's like, will you sign my petition? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, oh, ain't, ain't that always the case? Spike chuckled and Jerry sat there giggling at him. Tom frowned at them as they eventually stopped. All right, Spike continued. Let's be serious here. What about this girl? Well, I saw her today and I lost the space because I kept scrolling. She was so pretty, he said dreamily. But Butch moved in before I could make my move, he sulked. Why don't you just pull... Pulterize him like you always do. Pulverize. Pulverize. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Sp 
Spike asks in confusion. Well, take a look at me. I can't approach you looking like this, he explained and showed them what mess, mess up and bloody and bruised he was from Zoya's scrap with Jerry. Oh, that's some nasty scraps there, uh, mused Spike. Well, we can't have some girl making you look miserable. That's my job. And mine. <laughs> I didn't think Jerry was going to speak. He <laughs> added Jerry as he jumped onto the, paw, the dog's paw. It's a joint effort. Well, go outside and we'll... And we'll See to you. Uh, fuck. Joe was conf Tom was confused, but went along with it anyway. <laughs> no, I'm slowly becoming more and more deranged. <laughs> <laughs> but it went along with it anyway, and as soon as he got out, splash. Spike had turned on the garden hose and sprayed the cat as he was now flying back across the fence, knocking it down. <gasps> Tom screams. Don't you know cats hate water? He shivered. Don't you want to press this girl on that? Snapped Jerry. Well, yeah, Tom answered, taken aback by the mouse's spunk. Well, take this then, he said, handing Tom a bar of soup, which he reluctantly used to scrape himself down. Shouldn't I just lick myself clean? I'm a cat, you know? Don't you want to smell good? You're going to smell like saliva and tuna. Exactly. <laughs> Speck rolled his eyes and bent down to pick up some flowers out of the garden. Here, take these to impress the lady, he winked. Now, you gotta work on your pickup lines. Pickup lines? Yeah, you know, you can't just stand there acting like nothing to her. You know what, girls? You really gotta make girls' heart melt. You, I fucked up that entire sentence. <laughs> <laughs> now, what would really make a girl's heart melt? That's what I meant to say. The alcohol's really hitting my brain. I'm, like, deteriorating. <laughs> <laughs> Spike thought long and hard. His broke creased a bit. Oh, oh, Jerry raised his hands. <laughs> what about this? Roses are red, violets are blue, both are pretty, and so are you. I'm going to use that line in camera. I'll let you guys know how it goes. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a line for sure. Yeah. No, it's a really good one. I remember from Gravity Falls. I'm like, oh, no, it seems I've lost my number. Can I borrow yours? <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that little... <laughs> At least you thought it was funny. I've, I have heard that one before. My, one of my friends said that good. back in like high school. He used to say that a lot. Good, good. Appreciate it. <laughs> nah, that's too soft. What about this? Hey, babe, got any plants tonight? Hope they include me. Who's that? <laughs> Tom cringed at both of their futile attempts. Look, I'm sorry. I don't think she appreciates me just being myself. Whatever, I can't read. They both shrugged. So if yourself, but but off you go, you heartbreaker, you. Tom screamed off down the street, flowers and paw and heart on his sleeve, looking every bit rom the romantic he was as he knocked on your door. How does he know where we live? You saw us uh, in the garden. <laughs> you talking about how I got your address. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hello? You answered and saw that the that cat who lived beside you, and then you noticed the flowers he was holding. Oh, were these for me? Look, thank you. You smiled and sniffed him. Oh, sniffed them. <laughs> why, did I, why did I say him? God damn it. <laughs> come good? on, yeah, come on in. <laughs> Thanks for the flowers up, Tom, right? He nodded. Well, it seems that so far you're ahead of my other suitors. Suitors, he gasped. You mean Butch? Well, yeah. Really? Of course. I mean, he's nice and all, but the guy lives in a bin. <laughs> that is true. He, he is homeless. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine having to kiss and hug a guy who always smells like rotten fish guts? You turned your nose up in disgust. Ew. No. You chuckled and put an arm around... And he put his arm around you, and you both got into talking before watching some TV together. Yep. We did good, Mouse. Spike smiled with pride at Jerry, who did the same as they watched Tom from your window as you were both getting on like a house on fire. Like, a what? <laughs> what does that mean? I never heard a phrase like that before. <laughs> Like a house on fire? I have Rapidly no idea. and destructive. <laughs> I, have, I have never seen that term before. Yeah. I love the one, we won't read anymore, we'll probably just end it here, but I love yeah, that yeah, this we'll one comment here. that just says, do smut. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Wait, I, I think I saw that same 
comment before. Wait, there's another comment that's like, hey, can you write smut between uh, YN and a mouse? <laughs> <laughs> there probably is people out there. There's people that. out there trying to get in on this. Yeah. You do action. <laughs> it's an untapped market. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the response to Deuce Spot? Uh, oh, shit. Obtuse. What? What does that mean? Deuce Mutt. Deuce Mutt? Obtuse? <laughs> obtuse angles? I love obtuse angles, bro. Anyway, I don't know why I'm. I don't, no, I don't even have to ask you how you felt because you picked out this book. I, how did I feel? This was great. This I, was great. <laughs> I feel like I need to be more. like, less sober. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't know if my reading ability got any better, but um, formula sentence is pretty good. I think, I think I fucked up that sentence too. Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> it's the irony, the irony. Yeah, but luckily we don't have to read this ever again. No, no, we have like half of it left, so no. we'll leave it. On the no, no, we have half left, so we're leaving it. We're leaving it. No, it, it's fine. It's just a bunch of one shots. No, 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 no we're reading this. It's fine. <laughs> if you can put a bunch of your green-haired crushes on what the wheel, I can put bunch? Tom and Jerry on the there's wheel. There's only N on here. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, there's only N on there. There's no other green-haired characters. Not even Zoro. And Zoro's Zosan on there. Harvey. Zo. Oh yeah, is, is Zosan actually on the wheel? The Harvey's not a green-haired character. <laughs> Is he? <laughs> now you're making oh, me question fine. everything. <laughs> no, we're adding this. Fine, alright. It's already... only like one out of, what, like 13 or 14. It's yeah. really low. Alright, alright. Alright, Tom and Jerry is now adding. <laughs> it's not gonna get it anyways. Yeah, do you want to just... We're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get Scooby-Doo or Creepypasta. No, we're That's gonna get Hero Brian X Reader in spirit of the new Minecraft movie coming out soon. Is a Minecraft movie? Yeah, you never, you didn't see the trailer that came out? No. Oh Let's, god. I'll show, I'll, sh I'll show it to you later. <laughs> anyway, just just tell me one and I'll spin the wheel. Alright, let's go. Alright. I'm really hoping for a good, um... I, I want to kill oh, myself. Yeah! <laughs> I want to kill go. myself. Oh my. Hey, at least we removed immediately. <laughs> Oh no, no! What are you doing? What are you, well, I mean, like, we're gonna read it, but, like, right, there's nothing else to read afterwards, so. No, we're gonna read another Tom Jerry oh, reading. God. <laughs> I don't know if I can put myself through that. <laughs> okay, fine. We won't read another Tom and Jerry reader, but. For a little How bit. about we read a Jerry X Tom reader? Are they, look that up first before I <laughs> on the wheel. No, just, just put it Jerry X oh, Tom. Fine. You happy? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> That's different. Oh yeah, it sure is different. <laughs> yeah, just the relationship between a cat and a mouse. Nothing will go wrong here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Some weird mixed breeding going on. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing strange going on here. Just, just Minho <laughs> just being himself. <laughs> I think. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I guess we'll read more of this. <laughs> Heck yeah! This is like, you know, what Majora's Mask when the when the countdown starts and it's like three days till till like the world ends. This is this is mine. Yeah. One week until I read this. <laughs> till the moon crash lands on me. <laughs> if you 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 don't have to be sober for that one if you don't want to be. Oh, trust me, I'm planning on not being sober. <laughs> I, already, I already, like, mucked it. I'm just gonna have it as a note, like, next to, like, I was like, record with Minho, at, uh, like, side note, drink before recording. <laughs> okay, but that wasn't bad, right? Like, imagine if it was smut. Oh, God, I don't want to imagine reading Tom and Jerry's like, smut. Like, it, it wasn't, like, okay, like, imagine the Harrowbrine readers we've read. Oh. Like, was it worse than that? Oh, this is way better than those. <laughs> okay, see, there we go. There's a bright side to everything. <laughs> no, th this reminds me of the crafting table expert in us. 
<laughs> masterpiece. Yeah, that one I erased from my memory. You hated the crafting table X furnace. That was such a good one, though. Oh, it was so good that what a, what a, I forgot it, so that when I read it again, I could see it for the first time. Exactly, sure. bro. What about the cobblestone X obsidian? Oh yeah, that one. I remember that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah see? For sure. And and also the Harvey ones. Harvey ones are always good. Yeah, yeah. You didn't say anything. You one. you hesitated. <laughs> <laughs> the one piece. The one piece is real. Can we get much higher? All right. All right. Well, anyway, th thanks Minho for joining and picking out this book. You did a good job, buddy. Have a cracker. Thank you. Thank you. On screen somewhere is a playlist of all the other Wattpad book club readings I've done. Some include Minho, some do not. And then also on screen is the last Wattpad book club reading that was uploaded. So check that out. Adam and Minho, do you have anything you want to add? <laughs> if it wouldn't give me copyright, I would put that at the end of the video. <laughs> uh, it was like the Porky Pig. He's like, that's all, folks. <laughs> yep. That would give me copyrighted so fucking fast. <laughs> you can just put, like, someone's cover of it, and it probably won't get copyrighted. Oh, those get copyrighted sometimes, too. It all depends if they copyrighted it themselves. I don't know. Copyright's strange sometimes. Some things get copyrighted and things don't. Trust me, I have a whole Spotify list of, like, songs I can play on stream that won't get me copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, my name was my name is Phoenix, that was Minho, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Goodbye! <laughs>